So if you guys were able to catch last week's video, you'd be able to see the big difference that we made with the interior of the coupe by replacing the stock gray carpet with an aftermarket black carpet. For this week's video, we wanna be directing our attention to what's directly above us, and that's gonna be the headliner. When I first purchased this car, the first thing I noticed on the initial test drive is that I was missing the headliner, which I didn't think was gonna to be too big of an issue, but after trying to source that part for about an entire month, it was actually very difficult for me to come by. The way I found it is this dude hit me up on Facebook because I had a post up there saying that I was in search of a headliner for a GC8. And he was actually the previous owner to the guy that sold me the car initially. So the headliner that he had in his garage was the exact headliner that I am looking for. We also went out to a couple junkyards looking for a couple headliners. There were some GCs on their lots, but unfortunately none of them had the sunroof cut out that I'm looking for. So we ended up just taking the tabs from those, painting them black to go with the headliner once we actually get it reupholstered. So we went ahead and met up with him. He wanted only 50 bucks for the original headliner and the fabric had already been stripped off. So there was nothing left for us to do other than just go ahead and put our new fabric directly onto the headliner. The fabric that we ended up choosing is actually a headliner fabric that we found at Hobby Lobby. I was gonna go the traditional suede route, but unfortunately Hobby Lobby didn't have any real suede in stock. So this was the next best thing that we could have gone with. So after waiting an entire month for us to accumulate all the parts necessary for this install, we finally have everything and now we're just going to go install it right now. So now that we have the install and everything completed, the only tip that I would really have for you guys is just to be patient and if you could get some friends to help you out with this install, it would be very worth it. Trying to actually fit the headliner in the coupe was actually really difficult just because we had to pull the driver's seat out in order to fit it properly since we didn't have any rear doors or anything that we could open in the back. So having that extra group of people was definitely helpful just to make sure that nothing cracks or bends while we're throwing it back into the car. Also another tip would be just be careful when you're using that adhesive spray. If you spray too much on, you're definitely gonna get some through the material, at least in my case. And so now I have some white blotting towards the back of the car, but it's not necessarily too noticeable for me to go ahead and redo the entire headliner process, even though eventually that is something that I would like to do. The material that we ended up using worked out fine for what it was, but after about a week with the temperature rising, you could definitely notice that it started to not adhere properly and it started sagging in a couple of places. So for the next time, I would definitely go with a different route and instead of just going to Hobby Lobby, maybe I'd actually go to a specific fabric store or even just a Joann's to find an actual suede headliner. This one just had problems sticking while we were installing it. Once we sat it out to let it dry a little bit, you could see it started peeling up very easily. So we should have stopped the install right there and went and got a different fabric. But for the time being, it's a lot better than not having any headliner at all. So with all that being said, that's gonna be everything for this week's video. The headliner is officially installed. And if you guys dig the video or have any tips for the next time I might go and redo this, just leave them in the comments below. And as always, you can always find me on Instagram at Subi Cyrus.